Hello, welcome to your first Dotty Rockers video. Um, now, this doesn't look like the classroom, does it? This is my this is my room at home. Um, I've got my doggy just out of shop down there, who might start barking halfway through. We'll see how he goes. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do some of the activities that we've been doing in class at home. But I haven't got all of the resources that I'd normally use because I want you to be able to get really creative and use some of the things that you would use at home um, to to do the session. Okay. So we're going to do our welcome song and we're going to need to keep a steady beat. Today we're going to just do it on our knees. You can do it sitting down if you want to um, or you can be stood up like me. So get your knees on your feet, your hands on your feet, on your um, legs and we're going to go ta, 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 ta. Welcome everybody, it's time for us to sing. Welcome everybody, it's time for us to sing ten bounces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's time for us to sing. Fantastic, well done. Right, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to warm up our voices. Now, um, in our bags this week, we had lots of animals that were hiding um, away. Um, but this time I'm going to put the animals in my imagination, okay? So, can you copy me as we do the song? Dotty rockers, can you show me things you can do? Dotty rockers, can you show me things you can do? I think I'm going to be a cow first. I can moo like a cow, you ready? Moo! Um, I think I'll be a pig. I can oink like a pig. <laughs> I can meow like a cat, meow, I can, mm, what could we be next, jump like a frog, are you ready, boing, um, I can woof like a dog, woof, 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 I can buzz like a bee, bzzz, that's what I can do. Now, if you want to go through, um, once you've learned the song a few times, you can do that by yourselves and think of lots of different animal noises um, that you can do on your own. Okay. Now, um, the thing that we had in our storybook this week was a seesaw. Okay. So can you get your arms out really wide like a seesaw and put your feet wide as well? Okay. And we're going to go seesaw up. Down in the air and on the ground. I'm going to do it a few times and just catch me when you can, okay? Off we go. Seesaw up and down in the air and on the ground. How did you do? Did you try it once more? Okay, put your hands out again. Off we go. Seesaw up and down in the air and on the ground. Fantastic. Now, the lyrics, those are the words of the song. They say, seesaw up and down in the air and on the ground. So this time we're going to try it again, but instead of going side to side, we're going to go up and down. So we're going to start really high, put your hands up in the air. Seesaw up and down in the air and on the ground. Fantastic. Right, we're going to have a tiny little seesaw and we're going to pretend that the pixies have come. And they're going to go up there and we're going to go really fast and ready. Ready, steady, off we go. Seesaw up and down in the air and on the ground. Fantastic. Right, the giants have come to the playground. Can you put one big stompy boot on? Oof. Oh, my foot feels really heavy. Put your other big stompy boot on. Oh, and then we're going to have some really low, slow. Are you ready? Seesaw up and down in the air and on the ground. Fantastic. Well done. So we had lots of different characters. That was brilliant. So next thing we're going to do is we are going to 
do our cows in the kitchen. Now, last time with our cows in the kitchen, I gave you some sticks and they had a very, very important grown up musical name called Claves. Now, I haven't got those with me because I left them in the church. So what I have got at home are two pencils. Now you can go and you can pause the video, you can go and get uh, two pencils. You can go and get two sticks from the garden as long as they're not too muddy. You can go and get some chopsticks. You can go and get some wooden spoons. Um, anything that you can hold in your hands that you can tap together to make a nice tappy noise. Okay. You ready? Have you got your things? Can you be a bug? Ooh. Can you be an alien? Can you put them on your tummy? Can you put them, this is tricky, on your nose? Can you put them on your shoulder and be a pirate? Aha, my hearties. And can you bob down? I'm gonna go out of shot. Oh, no, not quite. I make a little, little pencil tree. Okay, fantastic. Now, can you be a cow? Right, are we ready? Cows in the kitchen, moo, moo, moo. Cows in the kitchen, moo, moo, moo. Cows in the kitchen, moo, moo, moo. What shall we do, Tom Farmer? Now, we had to see how many moos we were gonna do. Should we practise them? Moo. Should we count them? One, two, three. So there were three moos. <gasps> now, those cows were in the kitchen and then the sheep came in and they went all the way upstairs and they went past all the bedrooms and they got into the shower. <gasps> They're gonna be really soggy. Can you be a sheep? Are you ready? Sheep in the shower, ba, ba, ba. Sheep in the shower, ba, ba. Sheep in the shower, ba, ba, ba. What shall we do, Tom Farmer? Now let's have a look. We had three moves. Let's see how many bars we have in our pattern. It goes, ba, ba, ba. Should we count them? One, two, three. It was three again. Now those sheep came all the way down the shower and they were really soggy and the cows in the kitchen did loads of poos and the house was totally a mess. So poor old Tom Farmer cleaned up all of the cleaned up all the mess with some towels and he cleaned up all of the poo and he went to open the dustbin and put them in and who was inside? We've got some ducks in our dustbin so can you put your claves like this like a little duck? and we're going to open them and shut them like a quacky nose. Okay, so it goes. Ducks in the dustbin, quack, quack, quack. Ducks in the dustbin, quack, quack, quack. Ducks in the dustbin, quack, quack, quack. What shall we do, Tom Farmer? So, we had three moves in our pattern. We had three bars in our pattern. Should we see how many cracks we've got? Can you guess? How many do you think? Okay, let's see if you're right. Are you ready? Quack, quack, quack. Let's count them. One, two, three. <gasps> yeah, were you right? We had three taps in that pattern as well. Well done, okay. So we've been making musical patterns with our animal noises. That is fantastic all right now we're gonna have a go at a game some of us did them in class and some of us we didn't do it this week but you can do it in the video so it goes copycat copycat sitting on the doormat now when I was singing I was touching my head and my shoulders so can you copy me and join in this time? Off we go, copycat, copycat, sitting on the doormat. Right, now this is a game that you can play at home away from the video. We're going to do two more little patterns so that you know 
so get some ideas, but I'm sure you can think of some even more exciting faces. So we're going to do our tummies and we're going to do our noses. So off we go, copycat, copycat, sitting on the doormat. And mm, I'm sure you have brilliant ideas, you're much more exciting ones than mine, but I'm going to do my knees and my ears. Off we go, copycat, copycat, sitting on the doormat. Fantastic, well done. Okay, now we are going to finish off with our frog song that we did. And during our frog song, our frogs are going to do a big jump and they're going to go wee splat. And we're going to do it with our arm. Pretend that your arm is your little speckled frog. And it's going to go wee splat. And can you see if you can do your wee splats with me? Okay. So, let's have a... Okay. So, we've got five frogs. Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five. Five little speckled frogs. Eating some most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool with me. You ready? Wee! Splat! Where it was nice and cool. Then there was four speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log. Eating some most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool. Splat! Where it was nice and cool, then there was three speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool. Wee! Splat! Where it was nice and cool, then there was two speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious grub. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool. Wee! Splat! Where it was nice and cool, then there was one speckled frog. Glub, glub. One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool. Splat! Where it was nice and cool, then there were no speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Now, it's hard for you to see that in the video today because my splat went onto the floor, but you can have a go at doing that with your brothers and sisters or your mummies and daddies and see if you can get your wee splats exactly the same. Somebody has to be in charge and the other one has to follow. And the same with the copycat game. Somebody can do an action. Copycat, copycat. Sitting on the doormat, and then the other person has to follow. Copycat, copycat, sitting on the doormat. Okay, for this week, probably just stick to two actions for your copycat. Enjoy the other activities, dip back into the video if you need to remind yourself of the tunes. Um, but I would suggest you do all of these um, away from the video and just in the bath, when you're in the car, when you're having your breakfast. Anytime you fancy it, just dip into these songs and just make it um, just part of your part of your sort of daily routine, uh, weekly routine, uh, when the mood takes you. All right, have fun. See you next time.